Hey, it's Kendall, and this week on 90 Second Church, we're talking about the lies we believe. Now, I'm going to be a little bit vulnerable and tell you one of the lies that I fall into, and it goes like this. My performance determines my worth. My performance determines my worth. Another way to say this is I'm only as good as what I do. Now, the problem with this is it gives me a mindset that I cannot fail, leads to perfectionism, leads to a whole bunch of have-tos. I have to be the life of the party. I have to always get A's in my class. I have to do this, I have to do that. And here's the thing. That works really well until it doesn't <laughs> because at some point you fail. And then you end up in a pile on the ground in a discouragement, despair. So what does Scripture have to teach about this? Well, first of all, here's the bad news, Romans 3.23. Everyone has sinned. We all fall short of God's glorious standard. In other words, you can't perform to God's standards. You can't do it. It's not possible. Thanks a lot, Kendall. That's very encouraging. All right. Well, here's the good news. Colossians 1, 21 and 22. You were once far away from God. You were his enemy, separated from him. Yet now he has reconciled you to himself through the death of Christ. As a result, he has brought you into his own presence, and you are holy and blameless as you stand before him without a single fault. In other words, you can't perform to God's standards, but you don't have to, because Jesus can, and he has done it for you when you surrender, surrender your life to him. There is so much more that we could talk about, but just get this. Through Jesus, I am completely forgiven fully pleasing to God regardless of my performance. Let that truth sink in and you'll be reminded that God is for you and God is with you and you will experience the freedom of Christ. We'll talk to you soon.